holder for the longest open sea swimming. Lipka Book of Record holder for the longest open sea swimming. International gold medalist. International para swimmer. Mentor for the many people. And a very common man. Yes, my name is Sham Sada. I belong from a very small family and a very small village which is based in Madhubani district of Bihar, of course. Generally it is a flooded area, so it is quite natural all the people they know swimming. I never thought or I, don't, I never know whether I am going to take swimming as my professional career, but my mother always used to say me, when I was two years old, I used to swim a pond in front of my house without any support. Fortunately, as we all know, we wanted to, you know, push by someone else to get educated and uh, learn something. So I, I, I came to Mumbai to complete my educational career in a very early age, seven to eight years age, and then I started uh, learning education. But I always. Uh, <laughs> have passion towards and love towards sports because my mother always keep me saying that your grandfather he was a very well known wrestler because I was not fortunate enough to see, see him. He, he died before I uh, took birth. So I always, it's like uh, sports is in my blood and I always wanted to play sports. So I took martial art that time because Bruce Lee was very famous that time and I always wanted to become a martial artist. So I took it and I become a martial artist and I, I become, I uh, did my black belt in, uh, black belt in Shitorio style also. I completed as by choice engineering and then um, I also become a MBA without knowing me. Unfortunately in 2010, a stage came when I wanted to join a company called IBM. Fortunately or unfortunately, I got a spinal tumor in my back and I was got operated for the same. And that operation was not successful and I become chest down paralyzed. I was unable to walk. Doctor said, now your life will be like this. You have to sit on the wheelchair always. You cannot do anything. I went to a rehabilitation center called Paraplegic Foundation and there I got a chance to meet Mr. Raja Ram Ghar. He is an international uh, swimmer who conquered English Channel Swimming and he himself is a differently able. So he inspired me and then I realized I know swimming because I am from the background. And then why don't I take swimming as a uh, sports therapy and it will help me to regenerate my nervous system. Doctor also advised me. So then I started swimming and uh, slowly uh, I realized that I'm doing good in swimming. And the one more thing I wanted to say that I always have a dream to represent my country in Olympics or Paralympics. In 2010, before getting my injury, I was a national champion and international medalist in karate. I was about to represent our country in 2010 Asian Games, Guangzhou, China. But fortunately or unfortunately, I got this and I, my dream got shattered and I was unable to represent my country. But people always say, if you love something, if you have passion for something, you will definitely achieve it. You have to work it with very consistently and sincerely. And that's what I did. I was not able to even uh, understand what I am doing because I did my engineering in a different way. Then I did my MBA and there is something called sports in my background. And I never got very good marks in my academics but I always uh, got good medals in my sports. So when during my MBA I realized let me study myself because I believe if you wanted to success or if you wanted to be victorious, 
try to understand yourself first you once you understand yourself your passion you will definitely achieve it and you will be at the highest level of success in your life so i thought let me just take uh, sports as my career give my best at least 2 years as a full time to swimming and let me start it if i will not get any uh, any success also i am not going to uh, 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 i am not going to learn any uh, i am i'm going to learn something and at least i will uh, improve my physical strength and that will have that will be helpful because this is the uh, uh, disability which is called paraplegia and still in the world there is no medicine for this kind of uh, paraplegia you will find many people on road who uh, who don't have any uh, what do you call so what i started i thought let me just take swimming and then we'll uh, move uh, with swimming further and then i created this uh, world record which help us to create awareness in the society about the accessibility and uh, awareness on disability act issues <coughs> because when i got this uh, issues i had entered into the paraplegic rehabilitation center i got to know that i am not the only person who want who is suffering from this kind of disability i met lot of people there and they were like their life like uh, it's dark and they hope uh, they lose their hope to uh, to start their life newly then i met few people and counseled myself get counseled myself from the counselor and i am very much thankful to all those people all those doctors who counseled me and who got me out from that uh, depression or the frustration age it 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 is very natural when you get when you are all right till you are uh, 21 or 22 years age and suddenly you are getting on wheelchair you are a wheelchair user you are becoming wheelchair user it is it is obvious that you will become depressed and your family it is not only with you it once disability come it takes all the family and it is uh, it is uh, affecting all the uh, family so i thought let me just uh, do something uh, for this kind of people and then uh, i started doing surveys and in uh, 2017 due to my work uh, us government global sports mentoring program they chosen me for the best leader award and they called me usa for one and half month and i got mentored from there and that's why i learned the magic of sports and i'm trying now to bring that all the magic in india and trying to be, uh, make uh, accessibility through the sport in the pictures you can see it is bit obvious in our india right now more than 7 to 8 percent people are with disability and they don't get accessibility to go to the normal schools go to the even temple or masjid any places even in the hospital so this is very big issues i am thinking uh, which i am facing daily in my life and i want government or all the people even a entrepreneur or a social worker or a student of engineering that please do something which Uh, if you are a mechanical engineer or if uh, whatever kind of engineer you are try to make some devices which will enhance the quality of life with people with disability and disability is accessibility is a need of time it's not only for me or people with disability it's also helpful for old age people for women with pregnancy children and many more so if you are creating the environment or the uh, the uh, your workplace accessible for people with disability and all then i think you are contributing towards the uh, de nation development and you are uh, doing a great job noble job so i think uh, we have to work uh, on this uh, accessibility issues and then uh, if you are working towards it as a team you can develop uh, uh, you can develop uh, a model which will work for a sustainable a uh, long time period and which will help us to improve our nation in a, in general so what i am trying right now with uh, my uh, para sports association mumbai i have founded para sports association mumbai a platform for the differently able people where we uh, where we conduct uh, 
training camps, organize national or state and district level championship for people with disability that they come and they show their talent and I am trying to find out in a structured way that we could provide them a platform through which we can identify the quality and the talent in the people with disability and then through the sports we can create the awareness in the society and we can bring glory for the nation and that's what exactly happening right now if you will take the example of this year Asian Games and Asian Para Games the contingent from the India of able body athlete was 500 around people and they got 69 medal and at the same time people with disability and para athletes when we went in around 190 people and we got 72 medals more than that so this is what something uh, we have the capability to produce at any cost any places everywhere we are very good in workplaces also provided as an entrepreneur you have to believe in us and believe believe me that we are the person who can provide you who can give you the better output so with this like i wanted to say only friends breaking the barrier breaking your own barrier is the theme of this uh, TEDx talk and i'm trying to say you all that being on wheelchair being a differently able i did not change i found myself and that is what exactly i'm doing because i believe no one can motivate you but yourself if you have believe in yourself if you believe in yourself, you can do anything, you can achieve anything. I strongly say that this picture you will see recently before coming to here. Yesterday we have concluded a national training camp. And why I am saying that I am trying to empower the people of disability. In this camp, people from Uttar Pradesh, people from Odisha, people from Jharkhand, different state, they came. We provided them training facility free of cost because as an athlete, I believe preparing an athlete is like developing a nation. Because once athlete will get prepared, they will bring glory. Because what, have, what I have seen in USA, USA people, I got a chance to make their Paralympics gold medalist and all. They don't get much award from their uh, country. They got very minimal, $5,000 they get. But the best thing they do have is a structured channel. They have a training center. If you are a national player, you will get free of cost to train yourself to improve your performance. And that is the thing that makes USA on top of in medal tailing. In back in India, what we are, we are lacking is we don't have the structure program right now in which we are, we, we are supposed to start from the grassroots level and we can you know search a talent and we can invest in talent so through this platform I am trying to tell you guys that in whatever way whether you are in corporate whether you are in engineering or in, way, in your own field you just do your work with all of your heart with all of your love because if you wanted to do something, definitely you can achieve it. And this is what I'm trying to say through this platform that friends, believe in yourself and you are not supposed to make yourself as the only leader. The only, you can do one thing as we are trying to make a different leaders through, you can see these pictures and they all are like if people with disability coming out of their home try to make the society, we as a whole, to make them accessible. And once, believe me, if they will get out of their hope, they can win the world. And that is what exactly we are doing. So as a society, as a people, it is our responsibility to contribute in minimum way that if you are building your own home, think to make it accessible. Because we don't know disability can come at any point to anyone. And that's what happened with me. So, as a friend, I request you through this platform to go out of in the world, do whatever you are doing, and try to make become the happiest person by believing in yourself and try to make this world as a better place to develop everyone. Together we can do better. This is what I'm trying to say. Thank you.